have a bunch of updates from the Resident Evil franchise. E vamos ver. Hum, DLC, lá vem, vamos lá. Hello everyone. I'm Suyoshi Kanda, the producer of Resident Evil Village. Thanks to all of our fans. Tá a culpa é tua nessa fada. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see. Ai, 6 milhões de, de, de vendas, menos do que o jogo do Duff, né, ontem. Da do Xbox que a Microsoft botou no Game Pass. 10 milhões de usuários simultâneos. Né? Vamos lá, hein? DLC. Acho que é um resistance, hein? Multiplayerzinho. E caralho, continuação. Hum, quer ser uma adolescente normal, Ellen, galera. E ela voltou lá no castelo. Caralho! Aí ah, é yeah. Resident Evil is Strange. Resident Evil is Strange. Oh, e o Kazé aí. <risos> Shadows of Rose. Ah, aí cara, parabéns, ó. Modo mercenário com Chris. Falei? Ai, jogue com a Lady Doom 3. Aí, ó, pra galera que gosta, ó. Pô, parabéns, hein, Capcom. É tudo que eu queria. Ethan Returns. Ih! Agora que todo mundo já zerou? Filhas da puta. Filhos da puta, né, cara? São os filhos da puta. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're happy to reveal the DLC for Resident Evil Village we promised last June. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. This DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too. The Mercenaries returns with additional orders in an arcade style action game where. Porra, mas agora os caralho, quem não jogou que se dá bem. Porra, hoje em dia, se você não joga o jogo, você se dá mais bem do que quem joga. Quem joga primeiro é o beta testa. Vamos ver essa porra. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. Vamos ver. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she é Resident Strange mesmo. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. Ah lá, igual o The Medium. In this realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. 
Shadows of Rose is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking you. Enjoy Caralho, the ela tira mesmo. world itself being your greatest enemy. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? Ah, é uma jornada em busca de si mesmo, né? The DLC for Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion includes all three of these major additions. Caralho, cara, esse, esse daí foi um tapa na cara, esse terceira pessoa, hein? Do Village, cara. Ela vai descobrir que é lésbica, é, pode ser. Olha essa merda, cara. Ninguém joga isso. How did you like that? Also, as already announced, we are working on making the main story of Village available on Mac, so that even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. Porra, ninguém de Mac joga o jogo não, cara. The main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation VR 2. We are working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen. Caralho, que tapa na cara esse modo em primeira em terceira pessoa, hein, cara. So future announcements. Up next, a game that was announced just a few days ago. E Resident Evil 4. Caralho, vamos lá, hein? agora, agora sim. Hein? Cara, vai aparecer gameplay, galera. Resident Evil na Espanha. Não apareceu esse Dinei Magal aí. O Zorro, é o Zorro. Cheryl. E aquele maluco é qual o nome dele mesmo, mãe? Luiz é. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Tá, beleza. A gente já tinha visto isso, né, cara? Ainda bem que não joguei a merda do Village. Vou jogar em terceira pessoa, igual o jogo de gente. Pois é. This time, it can be different. It has to. Vamos ver, hein, galera. Porra. Hi everyone. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. Cara, dois Kojima. Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4. The original 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with more features for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Vamos lá. Mudou então, hein? Set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. 
Um forastero Atrás de ti, imbecil In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. Yeah. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S. E Game Pass? Tu vai sair no Game Pass? 24th, 2023. Ah, e Game Pass, hein, galera do X? Os caras acham que é tudo no Game Pass. E os caras do Playstation acham que é exclusivo. Os caras do Xbox falam, Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass. E os do Playstation ficam, exclusivo, exclusivo de Play, né? Exclusivo de Play. É foda. E os PC ficam assim, aceita mod? O que você achou da informação latest sobre Resident Evil Village e Resident Evil... PC baixa pirata, né? Aí os caras só pensam no mod. For those that can't wait for the release, check out the following games. Caralho, esse Resident vai ser uma foda, hein, cara. Pode esperar aí um dos melhores jogos, ó. De muito tempo, hein. Barra na B. Caralho, esse Resident 2 é absurdo de bom, cara. É muito bom esse Resident, cara. Muito bom. Esse daí é uma foda. Botar na Gil lacradora, né? Cheio de marra. E o Carlos sem a bandoleira. O maluco guerreiro das Farc, guerrilheiro das Farc sem usar a bandoleira. Aí ah, se lançar o Resident Evil 7 em primeira pessoa, eu jogo de novo. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. These three titles built with RE Engine Return with current gen features including support for 4K, high frame rate, and ray tracing, as well as 3D audio for an even more immersive experience. Ai, 3D do X, hein? These titles are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series S beginning today. In yeah, yeah. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players can enjoy a free digital upgrade to current gen via the digital upgrade program and smart delivery. For PC users, an update patch will be available on the same date. For newcomers and veterans of survival horror alike, we hope you enjoy the immersion these new versions offer. Barnabé. Welcome to the family. That's all for today's announcements. Thank you. Arigato matsumata. That wraps up today's show. We hope you're as excited as we are about some of our upcoming games. Thank you to everyone, new and old fans alike, for tuning in. We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon. Valeu aí, meu nudo. Maneiro pra caralho, Resident, cara. Cara, gostei do Village em terceira pessoa, mas, pô, sacanagem isso. É fazer os outros de otário, né? Porra, vacilo isso, cara. Pois é, eu sou um otário mesmo. Agora, o Resident Strange. Vocês acham que vai ser maneiro o Resident Strange? Fator replay, é, fator replay, né? Max vai adorar.
Será que vai ter lacração? O Resident não tem lacração não, né? O máximo que eles botaram foi só aquela Jill cheia de marra. Imagina Resident com um gameplay cadenciado e gráfico foda. Porra. É, o Resident 2 é assim, né, cara? Prime, porra!